Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Mike's Vehicle Spotlight on Facebook today to keep informed on any upcoming videos and vehicles that I have in the near future. And remember, always wear your seatbelt. Enjoy the feature. Today's vehicle spotlight shines on the 2011 Dodge Avenger Lux. The Avenger was originally a two-door coupe produced by Chrysler in partnership with Mitsubishi from 1995 until the 2000 model year. From there, it was replaced by the Dodge Stratus two-door. The Dodge Stratus was also sold as a four-door sedan from 1995 up until 2006. For the 2008 model year, the Avenger name was brought back, but replaced the Stratus sedan models. Still in its first generation since its reappearance, the 2011 Avenger does offer some new styling and trim changes. The newly styled front end features these stylish halogen headlamps. The four vented front grille features chrome trim and black satin inserts along with the Dodge name on the lower right side. The front bumper features two projector fog lamps and a mesh center air dam. The Avenger is 192.6 inches long and sits 58.4 inches tall. Today's Lux model is featured in the Redline 2 Coat Pearl exterior color. The aggressive side styling resembles that of the Dodge Charger's last generation side profile, sort of like a Charger Mini-Me if you will. The side mirrors are color matching with black accents and the mirrors themselves are fully powered as well as heated. The door handles are also color matching. The lower side portions feature color matching body cladding. Lux models come equipped with these 18 inch chrome clad aluminum rims with four wheel anti lock disc brakes behind them. It also comes equipped with electronic stability and traction control systems. The back of the Avenger also receives some styling changes.
Shown here are the new circular LED tail lamps that look much better compared to the previous square lenses. The rear bumper features dual exhaust ports within black body cladding. The interior of the Avenger receives some new styling and trim features. The interior safety standards include dual front, side and curtain airbags. These black leather seats feature light slate gray stitching and includes a six-way powered driver's seat. These seats are also comfortable. The new door trim includes a chrome door handle, the Boston Premium Audio Badge, your window lock and mirror controls placed within a leather stitched armrest. and a well-sized door pocket. The dashboard features metallic trim and is set up nicely. The driver sits in front of an aluminescent gauge cluster that features a 120 mile per hour speedometer, a 7000 RPM tack, and gauges for your coolant temperature and fuel level, all surrounded in chrome trim. The driver information display features numerous amounts of information like current tire pressure readings, additional fuel information, compass and outside temperature readings, allows you to access the vehicle's programmable features and much more. The second display features your current gear selection 
and your odometer with two trip computers. The driver grabs onto a leather wrapped steering wheel with metallic spoke accents. The left spoke features the controls for your driver information center and hands-free features. The right spoke features your cruise controls. And your audio controls are found on the back sides of both side spokes. The turn signal stock also houses your exterior lighting controls. Your trunk release can also be found on the left side of the steering wheel. The right stock makes up your windshield wiper controls. All of the center stack controls are placed neatly. Today's Lux came equipped with the optional AM, FM, CD, DVD and MP3 player with this 6.5 inch touchscreen display, an auxiliary input jack for your digital media devices and is also Sirius satellite radio equipped. Today's model is also equipped with the 6-speaker, 276-watt Boston Acoustics Premium Audio System. This stereo also comes equipped with the integrated Garmin GPS Navigation System. There is also a 40 gigabyte hard drive system with 28 gigabytes available to manage your pictures and music. Under the stereo sit your driver and passenger heated seat controls. your traction control override, and your emergency hazards. The single zone climate controls are very easy to use. The bottom of the center stack offers a remote USB port as well as a 12 volt power outlet and a small storage space. The shift lever is finished with chrome accents. Behind the shifter sits your two cup holders and your parking brake lever.
The leather stitched armrest is length adjustable and opens up to a small storage tray. Or this nice side storage console with an additional 12 volt power outlet. The glove compartment is also very spacious. The ceiling features sun visors with your universal garage door controls on the driver's side, as well as lighted vanity mirrors for both driver and passenger. The ceiling console features LED map lamps that are angle adjustable and your sunroof controls. The back of the Avenger still offers a decent amount of space and comfort. Rear passengers also receive door pockets with integrated cup holders. The center seat back folds out to an armrest with two cup holders. Plus, there is also a passageway to the trunk. Simply pull on the side tabs to fold the seats down. The trunk of the Avenger can carry up to 13.5 cubic feet of cargo. Under the hood sits the optional 3.6 liter dual overhead cam Pentastar V6 with variable valve timing. This engine puts out 283 horses and 260 pound-feet of torque. This engine makes an EPA estimated 19 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon on the highway.
The V6 is strapped to a six-speed automatic transmission with the auto stick manumatic shifting feature. And that concludes today's vehicle spotlight on the 2011 Dodge Avenger Lux. I'm Michael Adams, and I'll see you guys next time.